In this video we'll be showing how to properly install diaphragms into a 2 inch Wilden pump using the 0838203 full stroke rubber pH shaft. As you can see here it is about a quarter inch shorter than the older uh, full stroke shaft and we're going to show you the uh, tips and tricks on how to actually uh, accomplish this out in the field. Begin the process as you normally would. Place the inner piston on the shaft and then make sure the air side of the diaphragm is facing the inner piston. Then hand tighten the outer piston onto the shaft. Just hand tight there. Now before placing the shaft into the center section, make sure to invert the diaphragm. Now we're ready to rotate the center section, place it in the vise, and lock it down. Now we place the other inner piston on the shaft, and you'll note that the shaft is too short for the diaphragm. So before we place the outer piston on, we're going to have to invert the diaphragm. Now we can place the outer piston on and tighten it down. Now using the mallet on the other air section, we're able to make sure we've got a full extension on the shaft before trying to seat the diaphragm bead into the bead groove. With the diaphragm fully seated, we can now get the liquid chamber and complete the assembly of this side of the pump. We are now ready to rotate the center section and begin working on the other side. We start by inserting pry bars behind the inner piston. This allows us to get the full extension necessary to complete the installation process. Whoa. Using a pry bar to maintain a full extension on the shaft, we can now begin to sit that diaphragm into the bead groove. You may find it necessary to use a mallet to properly sit the diaphragm in the bead groove. We are now ready to install the liquid chamber and proceed with the reassembly of the pump. We will now show how to use the Spectrum Vacuum Generator Spectrum Part SDI000 can be used to complete the installation process. Having installed the first diaphragm, we find the second diaphragm is inverted. Now typically you would finish the installation process by using a couple pry bars underneath the inner piston to extend the shaft. With the Spectrum vacuum generator, you're able to do the same process using just the air already provided at your facility. Now you hook the vacuum generator either up to the inlet or discharge depending on the position of the spool. Now once the air is supplied to the vacuum generator, you will see that it will lift the diaphragm by evacuating the air in the opposite air chamber. The vacuum generator pushes the diaphragm up, 
Now you'll see it drops just a little, so you'll need to maintain the air pressure to the pump until you have completed seating the diaphragm into the bead groove. With the shaft fully extended, go ahead and insert the diaphragm bead into the bead groove and then disconnect the air and you're able to remove the vacuum generator and complete the diaphragm installation process.